Across the UK, thousands of nurses off the job. Nursing staff have been underpaid and overworked for far too long and we have had enough. We cannot safely look after our patients. The second day of what is the largest strike to rock the National Health Service. Nurses are seeking a 5% pay raise above the 14% inflation rate. That would be 19%. The government has balked at that, but nurses say it's justified. The country, they say, is hemorrhaging nurses, lured away to places with better pay. Beds are closing already, staffing is short already. It's really hard to retain, it's really hard to recruit. 19,000 surgeries were cancelled Thursday, the first day the nurses walked. Patients continue to be impacted, but public support remains high. These people are fighting back for all of us. Sketch artist Inga Bystrom capturing it all. The young lady in the pink hat, mm -hmm. that's her there. She's sketched 60 protests so far. It's appalling what this government are doing. Across the UK, multiple sectors taking job action. Railway staff, postal workers, border agents. On Wednesday, thousands of paramedics will also strike, prompting the government to put soldiers on standby and ask people not to get injured. It is important that we, where people are planning any risky activity, I would strongly encourage them uh, not, to, uh, not to, to do so. The last time there was this much labour unrest in the UK was the late 70s, known as the winter of discontent. So far, no sign of movement from 10 Downing, a mistake, says this economist. You can stay firm with your position that we can't afford and this and that, but communication needs to be established. And unless it is, the UK can expect another winter of discontent. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, London.